Hi and welcome back to Garden Ninja. Now today's video guide is going to show you how to pick and blet medlars, one of the oldest and only winter fruiting trees that you can have in your gardens. So come on, let's get cracking. Now, if you've watched any of my garden rescue shows on the BBC, you'll know that the medlar is one of my all time favorite small garden fruit trees. And the reason for that is that it's one of the only ones that actually fruits in the winter. So whilst everything else has died back, the medlar surprises you by providing these really unusual fruits. If you've not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the red button to subscribe today. Also click the bell for notifications we'll have access to hundreds of garden design hints, tips and hacks from me, the Garden Ninja. And best of all, it's free. And if you haven't tried a medlar, I would really urge you to go out and try and find some because they're a really unusual flavour, almost like a spicy buttery pear flavour. Now what you've got to do with medlars is blet them. And some people mistake this for saying, let them rot. It's not rotting, it's leaving the fruits to break down so that the sugars start to exude from the skin and they go really sticky and that's when they're delicious. If you try and eat them straight off the tree, they're like bullets. So today I'm going to show you how to pick them and then blet them for beautiful, delicious Christmassy fruits that you can wow your friends with because they're really unusual. Now when it comes to bletting and preparing medlars, you're going to need a baking tray. And you might wonder, well, why is that? But all will become clear, but grab some trays Head over to your medlar tree and let's get harvesting. When we're ready to pick medlar, you should literally just pop off, no force required. Now medlars are a great small garden tree because they're really well contained and as long as they're not in full shade you're going to get four seasons of beauty with them. In the spring you get gorgeous flowers and blossom, then in the summer the leaves almost have a felt like feel to them, followed by the fruits and then come December and late winter you get the unusual fruits. So they're a fab tree for a small garden. So once you've got your tray full of beautiful juicy medlars, it's time to get inside in the warm and start the bletting process. Now, bletting medlars couldn't be easier. And there's often this mistake online that bletting them is letting them rot, but it's not. What it means is that we leave the medlars somewhere cool and dark, like in the larder or cupboard or in a tray somewhere, like this, for a couple of weeks until they start to almost ooze. And you'll notice the sugars start to drip out the middle and they'll turn a dark brown colour. And once that happens, they're bletted. And then you can make things like jams, medlar cheeses or even just eat them as they are by scooping out the soft pulp in the center and they're delicious so these medlars along with the other two trays are going to go into the larder just like that shut the door and then forget about them for two weeks and then they'll pretty much be ready to eat Have 
you've got gardening questions that you need answers for, well why not head over to the Garden Ninja Forum on my blog where you can ask me anything about gardens, plants and garden design. There's a whole army of other garden ninjas there that can help provide answers to your questions. It's a really great way to meet the other ninjas. So head over there now. If you've liked this video, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel where there are hundreds of garden design hints, tips and hacks to help you make your gardens awesome. I've been Lee Burke, the Garden Ninja. Bye for now.